Hi, this is Emily from ePodcast Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to submit your own RSS feed using Anchor, but not using their Submit Your Podcast feed. Now, first of all, this is really important because what you want to do is get your own RSS feed URL. And the RSS feed, if you didn't know, that's where all your podcasts are stored. Now, when you listen to podcasts on podcast apps, that's where it grabs it from. It grabs it from the RSS feed. So you want to be in complete control of your RSS feed as much as possible. For my clients, I don't recommend Anchor because there is way too much Anchor branding on it. Now, they're hopefully working on something. Maybe it'll be a white label. But when you see my cover art, there's going to be that Anchor logo that you see up here in my cover art, no matter what. It's also a free platform. And in the history of podcasting, free platforms are not the best. But if you absolutely want to get control of your own RSS feed, one of the reasons this is really important is when you go to Apple Podcast Connect, you should be the one to submit that. That means your email address is on file with them as this podcast belongs to me. In the Apple stats, you can see how long people listen to your podcast, when they sort of fade out, when they stop listening, and you can see in your show exactly what parts that they are not listening to or they're not interested in. And this is really good. Use that feedback to make your podcast better. All right. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to upload my episode. Here it is. My episode is over here. It's a test podcast. Hi, this is Emily Prokop from ePodcast Productions, and this is a test podcast. Super simple, super quick. I'm not going to show you how to use Anchor today, but I'm going to save the episode and I'm going to name it. The prompt for the episode name is episode one. I don't want to name it that. Apple Podcast does not like episode numbers in your podcast episode titles. So I'm just going to type... The other thing you'll notice in episode name, I did not put the name of the podcast. I don't have to say test podcast. That's another thing that Apple podcast doesn't like. You can see this is my cover art. And just so you're aware, this is the cover art specs directly from Apple podcast. So if you get a chance, you can look at this to make sure that your cover art is correct. And if you'll also notice, there's the anchor symbol that is automatically put on there. So I'm going to write my show notes. One of the things that Anchor should push more is this advanced settings, because these are actually part of your iTunes tags. The reason iTunes tags are important is because when you open up the Apple Podcast app, which 60% of podcast listeners use, so that is a big chunk, Apple Podcast wants it to be a specific way so that it looks good and it's formatted correctly within the app. So you want to pick what kind of episode it is. It is a full episode. If I were to do a trailer, that would show up differently in the app. If I did a bonus, that would also show up differently in the app. My content is clean. My episode number is one. This is also very important. Even if you don't have a season, you can keep it as one, but make sure your episode number is listed here, not in the title. So now I'm going to publish the episode. All right, this is the screen that we need to really look out for. Right down here is what you want. You want no thanks, I'll submit myself. Now, the episode is published. That means it's live on my RSS feed. If I were to put my RSS feed URL into a podcast app, I can pull up that first episode and listen to it. Now, here's the link to the episode. What it's going to do though, if I copied the URL, put it in a browser, it takes me to Anchor. That is where my podcast lives. Anchor now owns my podcast pretty much. So if you want to share your episode, you could share it on Facebook, Twitter, or copy the URL, but it's going to take people back to Anchor. Here's where to get your RSS feed URL. Go to settings, go to advanced, your RSS feed URL is right here. It's super tiny. And then from there, you can copy it. 
Now you're going to take that URL that you've just copied and go to podcastconnect.com. That will bring you to Apple where you would sign in to add your RSS feed. So I'm going to add it here, validate to make sure that there is an episode in there and that the podcast cover art is up to spec. By the way, if you're worried about cover art, as I mentioned, this is what you want for it. And press submit if that's what I want. Now you'll notice the website link. This is what is in my RSS feed. There is a way to change that within Anchor that we're not going to talk about today, but it is under settings. So you can change your website link so it doesn't direct everyone to the Anchor link. All right, so that is how you would submit your own Anchor RSS feed to Apple Podcasts. And I really recommend you do this. So if you've already done it through Anchor, it's fine. Just know that you cannot check your Apple Podcast stats. All right, I hope that was informative and please let me know any questions that you have. You can visit the website, ePodcast Productions, or you could email me, emily at epodcastproductions.com.